Welcome to another video in the uh, Android car tablet series. I just wanted to show you guys and girls my latest setup. Um, after using uh, the tablet as I did for a while, uh, I had an issue with my phone with Wi-Fi hotspot and I couldn't use my tablet if I couldn't use Wi-Fi hotspot. So I was using my phone and on my phone I used Car Home Ultra and I really began to enjoy it and see the advantages of it so when I went back to my tablet I decided to do the same thing. Uh, partially because I realized that the uh, uh, Torque app, uh, the widgets on my home screen didn't work half the time. Uh, the, the Inside the Torque app it worked great but I just realized that that was more of a novelty than something I was using and it was also using a good bit of RAM and this unfortunately I got a cheapo tablet that only has one gig of RAM uh, which is why I recommend if you're getting a tablet to be your car tablet, get one with two gigs of RAM would be the ideal situation. Um, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is, right? So I decided to set Car Home uh, Ultra up as my permanent home for this tablet, and it works really great. Uh, what I did is, uh, you can see, I Car Home Ultra lets you change out uh, both the icon as well as the description so for example if I long press here you'll see it opens up and if you swipe over here you can change the icon and you can change the title so I did that uh, myself so that all my icons are now except for this one I'm still I gotta work on that one uh, these bright uh, neon orange icons so shows up really great I just have two screens, and these two screens and these panels, I have everything that I need for driving, pretty much. Um, I've got, uh, if I tap that, that brings up uh, Google Voice Search. Of course, OK Google will also bring that up, um, as it just did. But uh, I have that, so I can tap that. This, for if I want to use the Auto Voice Voice Assistant, I've got my text messaging. I've got Google Maps, I've got navigation, I've got here maps if I want to use that. Here maps is great because it has offline maps so you can install uh, offline, you can have offline navigation which is great. Um, this is the exit button for car home to exit car home. This is a tasker scene that I created that if I tap it opens up a uh, tasker scene and immediately zooms into the area that I'm in and shows traffic. And it's a, you can use it just like you can a regular map, but I set it up so that when I tap it, it goes away. So, quick way to get uh, uh, traffic. And you see it shows your speed and it shows which way you're headed. Of course, right now I'm in my kitchen, so it's not going to do a good job of that. But it's there, and you can change these as well. I already did a review of Car Home Ultra, so this isn't that. I just want to show you how I have mine set up and why I think that this is really a great way, great way to have your home. Uh, for your uh, uh, car tablet. And then I've got uh, a shortcut to navigate immediately to home. I've got to uh, go into my Android settings, the app drawer for any additional apps that may not be on here, a calendar, Yelp, my log, which logs my mileage, AAA, and Supernote. So those are all the main things that uh, I thought I used besides, of course, my music app. And with Car Home Ultra, you have a whole screen dedicated to music. Um, I have it set so if I tap this, it'll take me into whatever app is selected right now. But if I long press it, then it brings up all the music apps so that I can choose a different app. And uh, yeah, let me. Sh I'm going to play something uh, just because uh, I want you to see also the visuals that it has uh, when it's playing something. It does show you the name of the group and the name of the song. Um, and then I have this little shortcut here, uh, well that's built into the, the player, when you tap that it opens up a folder and I used overlays and if I tap that then through Tasker it triggers showing the uh, album art right there. Now that's not attached to this, that's a floating, it's an overlay, but I have that there in case I want the album art and then if I tap it again it'll turn it off. Um, and I did that through using media utilities, which I've shown you guys before, and then using the overlays uh, widget app, which is uh, pretty cool. Um, so anyway, that's that. Uh, if we switch over to, let's see, if I switch over to night, I have this set up to automatically switch from night mode to day mode uh, based on sunrise and sunset, which is awesome. Um, but if I go to night, 
then you'll see on night I've set it up so that it has this purple overtone and what's really cool is that looks really good on top of those neon orange when I had just the regular app built-in app icons when it would put the purple over it some of them didn't look so good but over the neon orange uh, icons the purple becomes almost like a subdued neon purple icon so it looks really good very simple um, again has access to everything that I need uh, I also set Car Home Ultra up so that if I'm in an app and I hit my uh, uh, home button that takes me to Car Home Ultra um, that is the uh, 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 my home while it's running now when I click the exit button and it's not running then it reverts back to my home screen and you'll see now that it's not running I only have one home screen now and I don't even have much on it and most of the things that are on it as you can see are things that are already in the car home ultra um, but uh, I, I've been haven't really done much to it because I haven't needed to because everything I need really is in car home ultra and then I do also of course have the uh, app drawer if I hit that then it takes me to my whoa and takes me to my app drawer if there is any other app that I want to get access to so anyway I uh, just wanted to show you guys uh, the uh, way I set it up I've already reviewed the app and showed you all the great settings this app has it really is the best uh, app to use as a, as a uh, car dock um, from the Play Store best one I could find because of all the features and things uh, but yeah works very 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 cool and uh, very well and it's what I've been using now just as my permanent uh, home screen for my uh, car tablet anyway that's it just want to show that to you guys hopefully you guys are having fun building your own Android car tablets um, I'd love to hear about it throw some comments down there uh, send me a message if you want uh, if you have any questions, feel free to throw them in the comments as well. I'll do my best to answer. And uh, that is going to be it. Check out my channel. Check out this playlist if you haven't already for all the other uh, uh, videos about you know building an Android card tablet. But also check out my playlist for, I mean, my channel for other app reviews and product reviews and gadgets, accessories, all kinds of cool things. Uh, that's all over there. And you can also share this video with anyone you want on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, all those ways are down there. So subscribe, like, share, all that fun stuff. And until next time, have fun with your Android car tablet.